The case of a Center County elected official charged with child sex crimes in a federal indictment is continuing to draw controversy, especially his 2005 case on similar charges when he was put on probation. Now there's more state lawmakers saying they're also looking at the case. And should there be new legislation on probation el eligibility? Gary Sinderson has more on a story you'll only see here. Gary? Marty, the new charges against Harris Township Supervisor and Bowl Mansion CEO Christopher Lee are drawing more attention to his 2005 arrest. That's when two young boys charged Lee with indecent assault. Many are questioning, including state lawmakers, how that case could have been resolved with Lee being placed on a special probation program. Earlier this week, we showed you the search warrants tied to Christopher Lee's latest arrest by the FBI after a 17-year-old boy says Lee tried to have sex with him and then police say child porn pictures were found on Lee's computers. It's also drawn new attention to Lee's 2005 arrest on indecent assault charges and the case being resolved with Lee allowed to enter the ARD program, a special probation program for first-time offenders. ARD qualifications differ from county to county. Yeah, it's very vague in its application. It was something I think was done a little bit more through the judicial system, and there's a lot of lenience given to the judges and or the district attorney's office in combination, and they could make that decision. I think it would be better off broad brush, and I think the general public that I've heard from says it should not even be an option. Representative Benninoff telling us work is already underway in the state legislature on creating statewide standards on probation and classifying the crimes that will qualify. We are looking at trying to, in my opinion, prohibit its use for anything related to sexual offenses, whether adult and or children's sexual molestations. Which echoes what State Senator Jay Corman told us last week about pending state legislation. But clearly I think it's something that we should review legislatively because uh, that's not, I mean, one thing we know about child sex abuse, it's reoccurring. Uh, that you know, The person's not going to get better, the person's not going to stop uh, until we stop them. Both Corman and Benninghoff say the probation legislation could be a priority issue when the legislature reconvenes after its current break. As for Christopher Lee's current case, he remains jailed on a four-count federal indictment with a court date set for December 1st. Live in Center County, Gary Sinderson, 6 News.